Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the new RTX Pro 6000 GPU that they just announced in GDC. As you all know, in San Fran right now, GTC is going on. So uh, they just had Jensen's keynote. But this is huge. I mean, I, I heard rumors about this, but I didn't know this was going to drop like 2025. So as you all know, I've tried the, I've had the RTX A6000s, I've used the 6000s. So this is more in line with that graphics card series. So this is not for gamers, all right? So this is more for like, you know, renderers, Unreal Engine, and especially AI. I know I don't have to say this, but NVIDIA is not just making graphics cards for gamers now, all right? They're focused on AI and robotics. Go check out Jensen's keynote in 2025, 2024, 2023, pretty much all the same thing, gearing towards AI and robotics. But this is humongous, all right? Here on the channel, we've played with computers that's had 96 gigs of VRAM, 128 gigs of VRAM, and they're like three or four, five, six, seven, eight cards. This is one card with 96 gigs of VRAM. One thing is for certain, we're never going to run out of memory in Unreal Engine 5. Actually, I probably would still do that because I would just keep pushing. But this is insane. And right now, I don't see any pricing. Um, I might be able to play around with this. We'll see. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. I might be able to play with this probably this is insane. 600 watts of TDP. So the cool thing about these pro cards, and I actually have the A6000, right? They are really cool. They run really cool. And they are really good at consuming power. So this one right here, I can guarantee you is probably, and, and honestly, I'm looking at this design. This looks like an A6000 card or a 6000 card before. Yeah, look at this. These these are really well made. Again, this is not going to be for gaming. This is an over overkill for gaming here. And I guess they have a couple of they have a server edition and a workstation edition. Okay, makes sense. So this is really cool. Golly, that's a lot. Now, as far as the price goes, oh here it is. This six thousand ADA. This one had like forty eight gigs. So for the price, um, I was I was correct with with the RTX. 5090 whenever I guessed that last year. I'm going to say for the price for the workstation edition here, probably ballpark $12,000 to $15,000 per GPU. That's what I'm guessing. But it's insane. I mean, you're, you're thinking about virtual production. That's huge. Like, Whenever I was visiting some virtual production studios, they're using like the A4, no, A6000 cards, actually, the same one I have. And they have like four or five, six of those. But now they have this. They might be able to run hardware ray tracing lumen in their volumes now. Like they're going to be able to push graphically virtual production quality so that's kind of exciting and if this is stackable bro which i know the server edition is probably stackable i'm not sure if the workstation is going to be stackable if you can stack two of these three of these four of these holy smokes and the crappy thing about this i mean granted i'm pretty i, I know i'm not gonna be able to like afford the rtx 6000 pro but i just got this all right so i just kind of made a phase there i just got my 5090 and now they have this thing pretty exciting stuff nvidia is killing it right now if you haven't bought a freaking nvidia stock by now bro i wouldn't wait around they just announced they're gonna start making cars for gm this is no joke it, they're not just a graphics card maker anymore man this is this company is is doing huge things uh, for humanity, to be honest, uh, depending on how you look at it. But to me, I look at it positively. Th this is changing. They just actually, if you haven't seen the Jensen's keynote, they had an actual robot with AI built into it. And I showed it to my kids and I was like, yo, I told my kids six and eight. I'm like, your world is going to be so different than today's world. 
And then they kind of just looked at me funny. They know the robots are coming. I, I talk to them every day. That's pretty much it. Let me know what y'all think about this. This looks like it's going to come in PC laptops as well, just like the A6000. Let me know in the comments below. I'm drooling for this, man. This is like the best graphics card for Unreal Engine 5 in the video omniverse.